Welcome to episode two of the Back Shack Project on the Keep A Lookin' YouTube channel. This is an update on how I'm converting an old backyard playhouse into a music or podcast recording studio. Apparently it's also going to serve as a general purpose office space for the kids and their homework. On the last video, I was nearly finished with the process of installing insulation within the walls and putting up drywall. I had two small sections adjacent to the door left to complete. But despite not being finished, the sound improvement from the non-insulated and non-drywalled space is vastly improved. There is no doubt that better recording quality will be the outcome of this work. If you're looking for a reference and you're brave, compare this episode to the last episode and you'll be able to hear an obvious audio quality improvement. But I warn you that you'll have to overlook the bad quality of the overall video. It was pretty bad, but I'm intent on leaving it up for the nostalgia of it. But just focus on the sound quality. For this video, I have finished installing all of the insulation and all of the drywall is up on the inside walls. The sound quality from the environment outside of the shack has been severely tamped down, and I only have the ceiling area left to finish up. But for the most part, I can sit inside and not even hear what's going on outside. That suppression of sound is due to not only the insulation, but also the drywall. Each provides a factor of noise reduction. I'm beginning to understand just how quiet the shack can be on the inside. In audio recording, that will mean I'll have more controlled sound quality, and that will ensure that I use less software noise reduction. This will mean that the sound quality can be richer, fuller, and sound more natural at the same time. One of the major side benefits to all this insulation, the drywall, and the installation of the insulated door, is that the temperature inside is now self-regulating. It is staying cool throughout the day and warmer at night. Obviously, the hot Texas summer will be a whole nother monster, but for now, it's staying comfortable inside much longer. It's never too cold and never too hot. Another benefit is that since all the large gaps are sealed up, I have not even found one critter inside. No snakes, no scorpions, not even a gecko. The extension cord I use on this non-permanent shack is running through a little hole on the siding and drywall. It's small, but out of the way. It allows me to power the shack. It is a temporary solution to get some electricity inside for the computers, lights, or heater. This solution is necessary to avoid paying increased property taxes due to having a permanent structure in my backyard. The drywall job is not done. This rough drywall work still needs to be taped and mudded to make it look a tad more finished. And then with a coat of paint thrown in, this place will take on a whole new persona. In the next few videos, I'm going to learn how to do some drywall finishing, which should be fun, and then I'm going to install, insulate, and determine exactly what kind of ceiling I'm going to use. Plywood would probably be the most simple, the cheapest, and probably the ugliest option. A drop ceiling system like those used in warehouses would likely provide the most sound deadening quality, but at the same time be harder to install and also be unnecessarily expensive for this kind of project. But I'll figure something out. Thank you for checking out the video. If you're looking to do something similar, come back next week and you'll see an update on this project. Like this video if you want. This is a new process for me and my goals are to learn and to ensure that every video is a bit better than the last, which is really easy at this point actually. The idea of your views and feedback are motivating me to do just that. So thank you and see you next time on the Keep A Lookin' YouTube channel.